No, 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 come on, come on, we gotta clutch up, we gotta clutch up. Let's go, let's go. Okay, 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 we gotta camp, we gotta camp. I actually don't care. Come on. Go for me up. Nice, nice. Let's go, we clutched up. Let's go, boys. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be having a look at the best class setup for the QQ9 which is a new gun added into COD Mobile. Now before we get into that, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe because we're trying to get to 1k subscribers by Christmas. Alright, so as you can see here, we're going to go to our second loader and ignore that glitch on our first one. Um, and we've got our QQ9 here, if we go ahead and press on it. Alright, so first of all, we have a long barrel. This is just so we can um, get longer ranges with an SMG, because normally SMGs don't have that long range. And quick draw, just to scope in faster. And then extended mag, because this gun has a really, really fast fire rate. So, yeah, if we go to our secondary here, we just have an SMRS, um, just the bop cars and whatever. Um, not really much to that. And then we have an Urban Tracker skin on. That's from, I think, Season 5. Or Season 4, I can't remember. But then uh, we have an Annihilator here. This is really fun to use. It's just like, It's just so good as well. Um, and then we have a trip mine. I don't really use the trip mine itself, but I do just equip it to run faster. And then we have a trophy system. That's just to stop grenades um, and SMRSs coming towards us. We have an agile here just so we can move faster, um, rotate around the map quicker with this gun. Um, this is really, really useful for SMGs. Uh, and then here we have a vulture just so we can pick up some more ammo and yeah. And then for dead silence, um, that's just kind of mandatory, you always want to be using dead silence. Alright, so if we go into the stats of this weapon, we can see that from 0 to 8 meters, this is a 216 millisecond times kill, which is basically second best to the Pharaoh. That is an insane time to kill at close range, that is crazy good. Like, that is, <laughs> bro, that you'll be able to kill like any other person at close range, unless they're using the Pharaoh. And then at um, 8 meters to around 12 meters, it's got a 288 millisecond time to kill, which is still a really good time to kill. And then from around 12 meters to 20, 21 meters, um, it has basically, I think, actually no, 26 meters, it has a 360 millisecond time to kill, which is a slightly longer time to kill, but still not that bad. And then after that, you know, 26, 27 meter range, it's just kind of unusable. Um, and then if we actually compare this to a Cordite, which is basically its main competitor in this part, just because they're both SMGs and quite similar, um, we can see that at the closer ranges, the QQ9 completely trumps the Cordite. Um, the Cordite just doesn't really stand a chance. But from around that 20 meters to 30 meters, the quarter kind of stands out a bit. Um, and this is because it has basically no recoil. Also from 14 to around 20 meters, the quarter also kind of kind of stands out um, against the QQ9 just because, you know, the QQ9 has an interesting recoil. Um, it's very vertical and sometimes it's so vertical that um, once it kicks to the top, it just starts going horizontal. It's a really weird recoil. Um, if you guys want to see recoil stuff, you should probably go to hawksnest.gg just to have a look at that recoil. But yeah, the QQ9's got some pretty strong vertical kick. Um, and I feel like at longer ranges, it's just too hard to control. Um, but yeah, that's why it's really good close range because it can just completely shred through your enemies. And it's got a really fast fire rate as well, so you don't have to worry about missing all of your shots or stuff like that. Um, you can miss like a few shots and still basically kill your enemies fast because it does so much. Um, it, the time to kill is just crazy for this kind of close range. If we have uh, the damage, uh, have a look at the damages at ranges. It's actually got 25 damage from zero to around seven meters which is a really, really, really good damage. Now, this is because um, it's really fast firing, and the fact that it does 25 damage, um, that's just crazy. I mean, the Cordite, 
it has a slow fire slower firing rate and it does from zero zero to seven meters it does around 24 damage so that's crazy i think the quarter should do more damage at close range honestly but like this gun is crazy op at close range just completely shreds through your enemies they don't really stand a chance at all um but the thing is it's only good kind of for close range i feel like once uh, i feel like if you're an ipad it's much easier to control the recoil for this gun because i was um playing on phone is a little bit hard to control recoil um i was testing this out on my ipad and yeah it was a little bit easier to control recoil on the ipad um but the phone's still good for it um you can still play with this on the phone uh this guy's playing hide and seek with me <laughs> But yeah, um, this gun is a really, really good new addition. It's kind of like a, an old, like, a new MSMC, if you know what I mean. If you guys played in Season 3, you'll know that the MSMC was completely overpowered. Had really, really high vertical kick, but I think this one has more vertical kick, in my opinion. Um, hope this video actually gave you guys some insight into this gun, how to use it, and I hope you enjoyed the ranked gameplay, because this is the first time doing ranked in a guide video. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching and cheers.